I think as of lately, people in general have been a little bit more sad than normal. People were going out, making plans, doing things, and then the craziest thing happened two years ago. Now, that's not just my perception of the general public, that's also me. I've had a pretty difficult time trying to find the motivation to care about myself and my own personal gain. But there was something I saw the other day that made me more sad than I am right now to the point where I felt like I had to do something about it. And fortunately, thanks to Intel, who is the sponsor of this video, they were able to help us out in the best way possible, hooking us up with one of these laptops featuring one of their Intel Core H series processors. I was coming home from a date. Oh yeah, that's right, you heard me. And the girl I'm with asked this kid that's walking by, hey, how are you doing? And the kid kept walking by and said, really bad. Now, normally when you ask somebody how they're doing, even if they're not doing well, they typically respond with, I'm good, I'm fine, because that's what most people do. Nobody just opens up in a passing conversation. Hey man, how's it going? Oh, I'm pretty depressed. Oh, okay, see you later. Now for me, I'm used to people being more shut off. My family was not big on sharing their feelings and I kind of hated it. So whenever I hear or see someone being honest with their feelings, it grabs my attention. So anyways, she paused, not wanting to be an insensitive asshole to the kid who just said he's doing bad and asks, what's wrong? And the kid ends up telling us the story about how his friend died yesterday in a fire and he didn't know how to handle it. He mentioned he was playing video games so that he didn't have to think about it and he kept walking after that and just went back into the parking lot. Now, for those of you that know me, uh, you probably know that I handle death pretty poorly, uh, especially when it comes in such an untimely way. So seeing that in this kid, I wanted to do something to try and make his experience with it a little bit better. Now, before we can do any of that, we have to talk a little bit about this laptop. I was sent it to review it. Now, if you know me, typically I am really critical of laptops. Normally I actually discourage them but there are some situations where I can see a point in case for someone needing one, such as a student or someone who is super mobile. I am a huge stickler for getting the most out of your dollar when it comes to performance. So let's talk a little bit about this Acer Predator Triton 500. Now in my possession, my model has an 11th gen Intel i9 11900H, a GeForce RTX 3080 graphics chip, 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, as well as a two gigabyte, <laughs> terabyte, <laughs> SSD. On paper, those specs are ridiculous. Now, obviously, if you've used laptops versus actual desktops before, you're probably wondering, well, how much difference is the performance? And we've tested a lot of the FPS numbers, which we're gonna show right now. So the FPS benchmarks go as follows for the laptop. The system actually runs off of a 2K resolution, which if you are planning on gaming for an extended period of time on this laptop, I recommend dropping it to 1080p. I personally think that's all you need for competitive gaming, but if you're keeping it at a story mode type of game, feel free to bump it up and keep it at what it is. That being said, we actually let the game run at its system resolution of 2K just to see what we would get. For Unigen Heaven, again, running at the 2K resolution, it actually averaged 83.1 frames per second. Now, if you don't know what that is, Unigen Heaven is a computer benchmark that hardware enthusiasts like myself use to try to gauge how powerful a system is when it comes to putting out FPS for games. I found this thing to be holding up to a standard that I was very impressed with. Lastly, for the FPS benchmarks, we tried out Apex Legends, which is vastly more intense on a system than Valorant is, and we actually saw some performance dips which might be considered unplayable to some. Now, I did launch Apex with an uncapped FPS counter. A lot of people don't actually know to do that when they test systems out. That being said, the system was still actually occasionally dropping under 60 FPS, which for competitive games, I find that to be unplayable and I think most people do. Again, the resolution was playing at 2K, so if you can find a way to drop it to 1080p, which is not that hard if you just right click on the desktop and adjust a couple settings, 
this would actually be still a viable option for your Apex portable needs. Now for Valorant, this laptop actually got an average of 98 frames per second. Remember, that is a 2K resolution at high settings. For a laptop, I find that incredibly impressive. Another important thing to talk about with this laptop is noise. Now for some of you that have laptops, you've probably noticed in the past that if you set it with the fans being covered at the bottom onto your lap or onto a desk, the fans will be choked out and will usually spin quite a bit faster to make sure that the system stays cool enough and doesn't overheat. While we were running benchmarks, I tried to gauge the decibels for how loud the computer is while it is under load, and to my surprise, it actually stayed around 60 decibels. Now, if you don't know what decibels are, it is a unit of measurement for sound, and as far as the laptop goes, I would say it's not that it isn't loud in the environment if it is being stressed, but I actually found it to be quite a bit quieter than other laptops that were supposed to be gaming laptops that I've worked with in the past. If you're to buy this laptop and you have it on an elevated surface, with some holes at the bottom, much like a laptop stand, I think that this would actually be a quite, quiet, that's the keyword, a quiet system considering that, again, it is a laptop. If you take a look at the specs alone, this thing has CUDA cores out of its mind, which means if you are somebody that uses Adobe Premiere Pro, you will get insane hardware acceleration for the program itself if you are looking to do something like video editing on the go. I've tried some of it on the laptop myself, nothing 4K crazy trying to run it through proxies, but some regular 1080p edits and the laptop actually held up pretty nicely. I won't nerd out too much, but the rest of the specs are 1.71 gigahertz clock speed for the chip and 10 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. VRAM. This chip inside of a laptop is unprecedented. And from my experience, from what I have seen coming out of this laptop, paired with that 32 gigabytes of RAM, it's kind of nuts. Now, don't pay too much attention to the GPU of this laptop because something you have to pay attention to as well is the processor. Nowadays, people almost fetishize over the graphics and don't pay enough attention to the processor. I've seen it way too often. The processor in this laptop is actually insane and should not be slept on. The 11900H from Intel Core H series is so powerful it can handle what laptops before typically couldn't. This laptop can stream and encode from the CPU in case you have live streams on Twitch or YouTube. It can also handle creative endeavors for video editing and photo editing and it has the specs to handle your gaming needs now and in the coming years. In the past, laptop processors have known to be weaker than desktop ones because they have to be underclocked to avoid any heat issues. I can honestly say that with this specific processor and as well as the rest of the Intel Core H series, it's actually a huge step forward. As for the price, this laptop, you can find it for multiple retailers online, goes for around $2,500. And I know for that price point, usually in the past, you were able to build yourself a pretty decent computer for that price. But I would actually say, considering the current market and the portability option of a laptop with all of these specs, the Acer Predator Triton 500 is actually, never thought I'd say this about a laptop, it's a really good buy. So now that you have seen how amazing this thing actually is, I am really excited to try and put it in the hands of someone that will appreciate it more than I think I would. With that being said, I have to go pack some stuff up and I have to take a short drive with my friend Will. So, what we're doing right now is we are driving over to the kid's place. And from what I've told his mom is to keep it an absolute surprise so he doesn't know what's gonna go on. Obviously, it's kind of weird that some stranger wants to borrow you at six o'clock to uh, shoot a video. If anything, that sounds really, really suspicious and I shouldn't be allowed to do that, but uh, the mom knows uh, that we're trying to surprise her son. What's a good excuse for telling a kid why you're randomly shooting a video with him? I'm a psychologist. I'm a, th no, I'm, a th I'm a therapist. Will the kid think that his mom thinks that he's messed up if I'm the therapist and we're recording this in front of his house? No problem. Uh, I don't think we can park down there. We'll park up here. I'm just gonna tell this kid I'm a psychologist. I feel like you're a film student. I, wa I was a film student. Exactly. I'm a film student. I'm reliving my glory days. Isn't it weird to walk into somebody else's house and give them free things? Yeah, but you're a film student. I'm a film student. Is Mr. Beast a film student? <laughs> <laughs>
Hi. Hey, so they just said to come over whenever they're ready. Okay, hello, hey, how's it going? I'm sorry for taking so long. Okay. What's up, my name's Chris. So I work with UNLV, the school that she's gonna be working at too. And I'm part of the film program. And when we were coming back the other day, you actually said something that was perfect for the project that we're working on right now. And I was wondering if you would be okay with being a part of the documentary. I mean, that's cool. Oh, perfect, awesome. So basically, Sorry, we had to get these thank, set up. thank you for giving us permission because it's already set up. <laughs> so <laughs> so you know, there's none of that. So this is this is what happened the other day where you caught my attention. So do you remember when we were walking upstairs and we were and Selena asked you like, "Hey, how are you doing?" And I said, "No, I'm not doing good. My friend just died." Yeah. How come you opened up? Because I mean, I'm not really a person not to open up. So I'm I'm curious. Most people when you talk to them, right? You say, hey, how are you doing? Everybody's on autopilot. They're like, I'm good. I'm okay. Even if they're not doing okay. How, why is that? How come, you, how come you're more open? I mean, because I really, I just don't really think I need to hide my emotions. Mm -hmm. If I feel a certain way, I'll, I'll let everybody know and not just keep it in because like I do. I just have it there and I know just be sitting there forever. It's really just like, easier to like say like if you want to hold your emotions in i think you'll just keep them bolt up and you won't like be able to like and then if you keep more you hold them in the less you the harder it gets to let them back out so you might as well just let them out right then and there who taught who taught you that you just thought of it anybody ask how you're doing you don't feel good tell them i don't feel good don't be great with somebody how old are you right now 12, 4, and 13. If you don't mind me asking, what, tell me about your friend. Tell me about uh, what happened. Well, the really thing, bad thing is uh, I kind of said, yes, we got into a fight before the last time I seen him. Mm -hmm. And he uh, he uh, hit me. And so I was kind of playing around and I kind of got a little too rough, I think. And he started getting like a little like, oh, I don't want to hang out you no more. I was like, I told him, I, you take stuff too serious, that's why I don't like, that's why I hate you. Then they moved, and I, and I, then they went home, and I never talked to them, and then, and then they came to move and got their stuff, and I was, his sister was there, and I told her, um, hey, tell Ezra I'm sorry, and uh, he, uh, I actually am sorry, and, uh, we're good friends, and then she said, uh, well, sorry, Ezra passed away in the fire. So. Do you have any regrets about that? A lot, yeah. But I'm not going to keep myself back for that because I'm just going to do better. Mm -hmm. And I tell myself every day, I'm sorry, and I don't. She's never done that. Mm. I don't show anybody that part. Mm -hmm. I'm so open about my emotions. Mm -hmm. Well, I wanted to ask you this. What was the other thing you told us when uh, when, when we were uh, coming up? I don't know if you remember. I remember saying I I'm not the greatest, but I'm still doing well. Mm -hmm. There's another thing you said. It was, uh, you said, I think, I'm pretty sure that uh, you were playing games. What games do you play? Oh, I play my Switch. I play Fortnite, which I just did a live event with my friend. Fortnite! <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things you told us as you were coming up here is you were playing games, kind of killing the time, passing the time. And I have a Switch mm -hmm. and a PlayStation. Well, I wanted to ask you if we can make an upgrade. What do you mean? So, personally, I hate console. You filthy aim assist abuser. <laughs> so, here's the thing I am a liar. I hate, I, I went to film school, but I hate it. <laughs> but I'm lucky in that. I, uh, I had the opportunity this week to do a bit of a sponsored thing with Intel. Um, and they sent out this Predator Triton 500. Now this, I don't know how to explain this in a way that doesn't make me sound like an absolute giga nerd, but <clears throat> is one of the best laptops you can have right now for pretty much anything, work, you watch whatever. Is it yours? Nope. Who's it? Yours. What? 
I've been needing a new computer. <laughs> I've been needing a new computer. So, I was going to ask you if it was okay if you put that filthy controller down and <laughs> made an upgrade to a PC instead. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that stood out to me about you is I was I was looking for someone to give this to because I'm lucky enough that I don't need it. But when we were walking up the stairs, like I said, most people, they don't talk about their feelings. And I think that stuff is really important. Um, I don't think you need to overload people all the time, but I really hate that a lot of people keep too much to themselves. Like you said, they keep it inside and then it blows up and something ugly comes out or something ugly always seeps out. So it really caught my attention when we were just walking up and you're like, yeah, I'm sad. And I appreciate your honesty. So if it's all right with you, I'd like you to have this. It's set up about as best as I can set it up. It's got a couple things on here already, uh, but. I could play so much Fortnite on. Oh, no, wait, I can't. Please don't play only Fortnite on here, bro, please. I'm not even going to. Play, play a man's game. game, play Warzone, play something. I can't, because I think the Fortnite costs money on here. <laughs> well, Fortnite on PC doesn't cost money. It doesn't? Nope. Uh, Fortnite's free to play. I would It's the that. skins that they get you on. <laughs> but Minecraft, I really want to play on PC, because there's like, things you can do that you can't do on console. Right, so this is mine. Yes. Don't play too much Fortnite. You can play a little, just not a lot. <laughs> How much does this cost? Don't worry about it, because it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, I'm going to play so many games at my friend's house tonight. Thank you. Thank yeah, you no so, worries, so dude. much. Yeah, it's all good. I hope you enjoy it. Be careful with it. I will make sure to... This will start my PC. Hey. I'm, I'm gonna, I walked my. I walked here with no computer. My friend will walk in. My friends will be like, "How did you get the computer?" <laughs> I'll see you later, man. Have a good with your friends. Damn, she got a ten-second hug. I got like a two-second. I'll just play. Here. We're we're monetizing this hug. <laughs> we're monetizing. <laughs> They're like bagging it up. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's cute. Later, Trey. Bye. Thank you so much to Intel for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate you giving me the opportunity to make somebody else's day a little bit better and hopefully their life a little bit easier as well. As well as my own personal stuff, if you are watching this video at this point, uh, you have seen that I have not uploaded as much recently. And if you are a fan of my live streams on Twitch, you've noticed I haven't been streaming as much lately. I will probably upload a video on my second channel to talk about some of that. Long story short, I have not been that great, but I'm working on getting better. And with that, that'll mean also putting out more content. I really appreciate your guys' patience and to people that still support me and the channel and everything that I wanna do. So I hope that you found this video creative, entertaining, or informative in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> I'm surprised I still remember how to say that. And as always, I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.